Hello everyone, this is Tech Tool Tutorials, back with another tutorial on how to make the interior of your very own custom house in the Unity game engine. This is actually going to be my last video in the series where I'm going to wrap up how to make the actual uh, house and I'm going to be actually finishing off my house in this video. So, this is actually my uh, inspirational image, and as you can see, the actual outline of the house is reasonably close. I've made the windows and the door just right. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the houses inside, and lastly, I'm going to also be uh, adding the interior and all of the textures. So, um, yeah, I'm actually going to do those things, and then basically my house is going to be complete. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and start with the walls right now, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so the interior of the house is actually complete. Well, not sorry, not the interior. The actual outline of the rooms and the walls. Because as you can see, through the replication, I actually have three rooms at the bottom here, two rooms at the top, uh, three rooms at the bottom, two rooms at the top, a kitchen area, and a living room. So it's exactly the same here. One, two, three. I sort of evened the spaces out here more. I didn't really like that this room was really big and this area was tiny. And... Um, you have the two larger rooms up here, the living area, and instead of putting a big wall here, which I didn't feel was really open, I just placed this sort of little fence thing for the kitchen so it feels more lively uh, and connected with the living room. So now that we are actually uh, done with all of the uh, walls and things, I think I'm going to first place some models so that I can give the walls and the doors uh, a nice uh, and more lively look. Then I'm going to put in the windows, and then I'm going to start creating the interior. So uh, yeah, let's get on to that. Thank you. 
Alright, so the windows are complete as well, as you can clearly see. So now, I will actually start working on the interior, and I'm going to base it off of the rooms that are used within the photo. So as you can see, this is a bedroom, this is a bathroom, and I'm sort of going to be basing it off of that. My house interior is finally done after around, um, let's check, yeah, around 40 minutes of me just placing these objects, and as you can see, it's actually very detailed, so I have my living room, which is kind of basic, just a couch and a table and a TV, because I didn't have uh, that much time left, so I just decided to go with that. Then you have the first bedroom, which has a bed, a nice TV for him to watch, some lights, a shelf, uh, and uh, another, uh, what do you call it? Uh, clothing shelf and then a um, lamp on top just as a little detail then you sort of have the study room which just has a drawer a desk and this sort of drawing board which maybe you could do something on then the bathroom is very basic and um, um, it has a bath a sink a toilet and then just a trash bin then I put a second bedroom which is sort of the same thing but rearranged and this was because I wasn't sure what to put in this room so I decided to make a second bedroom then here you have the kitchen, which uh, actually uses some quite nice pre-made furniture, 
where you sort of have the sink, uh, the stove, and then uh, some drawers, and also use some extra details like this um, toaster and a microwave. So now I think I'm gonna go through some of these objects and just see if I can add any textures because the white can look quite plain. So uh, yeah, and then once I've done with that, I'm pretty much finished with the interior. Alrighty, so I've added all the textures and this is my finished house. This is officially the uh, finished house interior that I have. So um, I'm just going to go over it, go through it, and yeah, just uh, sort of briefly explain it. So um, using, of course, the store, I got all of these models and all of these packs, such as there was this pack which had a ton of these different objects to use as interior, like this couch over here like all these items in the bathroom, like the sink, the toilet, and the, um, the bath. And it had some other things like the shelf over here. It, and there's some really nice packs that have multiple stuff, multiple things. So I essentially just have the living room with the couch and the TV. Then I have a bedroom, a study room, a, uh, a toilet, another bedroom, uh, the entrance, and the, um, what do you call it, and the kitchen. So using packs, I've got all of these objects. I used the, I used my textures over here from a ton of um, different packs that I got, and uh, this was all free, by the way, guys. And uh, basically, essentially, I just drag and drop them on objects and see what they look like until I found an object that I liked. So uh, as you can see with the textures, it looks a lot more colorful, a lot more uh, vivid because the objects actually have their own textures instead of just being plain white. So yeah, that's basically going to wrap up my video. Um, one more thing that I explained also that's optional is if you want it, you could add different floors. It'd be kind of difficult and I wouldn't really recommend it because, I mean, uh, I could do it right now, like add a second floor. Um, let me cancel that real quick. I could add a second floor by like, for example, copy and pasting and then dragging this up and then you would have two floors, right? But the problem is, is that, um, if you do that... Um, you wouldn't be able to see your first floor without having some kind of mechanism, maybe a mechanism where if you press the button, the first floor would m disappear or move out of the way or something. That would um, be useful or um, and would make it more elaborate. But if you were to make multiple floors, I would maybe make them next to each other and just sort of say that they're the different floors so you could see all of them. But for now, uh, this was just uh, my tutorials on how to make one uh, ground interior floor. And essentially, the first two tutorials was explaining how to make it, and this was me actually making it through that process. So I hope I hope you learned something new. I hope you uh, enjoyed this series and uh, this tutorial, these tutorials on how to make a house. And um, now uh, the tools are put into your hands. It's up to you now. Now it's for you to build your very own house and to use what I learned, what I taught you, to um, make a house of your own. And uh, yeah, just be creative. Uh, this inspiration actually made it drastically easier because I actually had an outline and knew what I was going to make So I would highly recommend that you actually make a um, uh, That you actually find a um, Photo to use as inspiration. So yeah, I hope you learned something new and um, uh, I'll see you if uh, any other future tutorials uh, come up. So yep, have fun Enjoy building. Bye. Bye <laughs>